the Rainbow Project will plan and develop an open and secured fog computing platform that will advance the management of extensible, diverse and safe IoT services and cross-cloud applications. The Rainbow Project has developed an architecture capable of offering high-quality services to its end-users. Our platform has been materialized through a multi-layer architecture where each layer comprises a set of discrete components that interact with each other, while five distinct roles are identified as key actors in the Rainbow ecosystem. The four layers are the modeling layer and dashboard components, the orchestration layer, the data management and analytics layer, and the Rainbow Edge stack. The current video provides the functionality of the platform through the use case 2 scenario. Here, the focus of the final demonstrator is mainly on the hazardous situation detection management in the real, on-the-road, environment. Now we will see how to deploy those components in the Rainbow platform. The onboarding to the Rainbow platform usually starts from the dashboard. Here we can see the instances, the applications and the components defined. We are going to create the broker component which is missing. We select the name, the architecture and the elasticity controller. At the distribution parameters we need to define the Docker image that we will use and the repository details. Afterwards, we test the connection, if the parameters are correct. At the next tab, we need to define the minimum execution requirements for the component. Then we have to check if the container is running correctly. Next, we can create some environmental variables but in this case it is not necessary. Finally, at the Exposed Interfaces tab, we can define which port is open in the container and we can save this container. Also we can define new ports for other components. Now we can go to Applications and create a new one. We can select the components and connect the generator and the object detection to the MQTT broker. The application graph is saved. Next step is to create an application instance. Now we can go to the master node of the cluster and check what is created. This instance is deployed. By selecting View Graph, we can see the container and the metrics. The container is running successfully. Back to the Instance tab we can see the consumption of the containers. S, L, O, define the behavior of the containers. Or, we can undeploy the application, and the containers are terminating. The end users that incorporated the Rainbow platform in deploying their applications reported that Rainbow managed to positively impact crucial parts of their workflow achieving reduced latency and power consumption, increased performance and effectiveness, enhanced security and improved usability. In particular, they highlighted that Rainbow automates and simplifies the deployment of containerized applications creates an abstraction layer between the infrastructure and the end user through intuitive visualizations and easy to use UI offers secure communication between components out of the box specifies complex SLOs that can be used in conjunction with multiple elasticity strategies to adapt deployments at runtime adjusts performance and adapts automatically to the infrastructure and available hardware resources thanks for watching if you want to learn more about the rainbow platform and project Visit our website and follow us on social media.